Hello. Hello, Stacy Drake here. This is gonna be a video on like, it's a rant about student transportation, how school buses need a better design. Right now I'm on my way back up to Langone Heights. And let me tell you my experience of riding the school bus to the sixth grade back in 2011 to 2012. It was just crazy. First, we have a school bus, a yucky yellow school bus that's a metal death trap because it's built way too cheaply. It, it has these brown boards for seats that are cheaply built. You could have just added color, you know, to those brown boards, make them like green or something. You could, they're very, they're very like dangerous seats to have on a school bus. You can easily bounce around and hit, hit your head on the ceiling, fall down. These brown boards on the seats for the school buses that are still around, they're just dangerous. The biggest priority of school bus manufacturing is to make it as cheap as possible without caring about the kids' comfort or safety. That's what it's like for school buses. <laughs> And we need, we need better school buses, ones that are more like transit buses, like coaches. Only this so they can fit, only they would have lower floors so that they can fit under the tunnels that school buses need to. Anyway, first day of school, the morning ride went almost fine. They went to the wrong school though in the morning, dropped me off at the right school later. This is Pleasantville Middle School. So you remember, I could have been taking the train like I currently do to college. But stupid me didn't want to take the train for some reason. So then in the afternoon, the school bus arrives 40 minutes tardy. And it does that almost every day in the future. And for the next two weeks, it does that. It runs at least 30 minutes tardy, constantly every day, except for days where it's early dismissal. Let's be Ron Conk on the train. And then we have this school bus driver who has like an IQ of 55. That is not safe for driving a school bus or operating one. Like IQ of 55. <laughs> and then Later, they added a monitor whose IQ wasn't much better. It was only a little better. But Royal Coach was just a mess. They never left the deep. They were so. The, the, the driver and monitor were so unintelligent that they just decided to leave the depot early. And. No, leave the depot too late. That's what I meant to say. They left the depot too late just so they could upset the riders. And, it, and whenever you, you complained to them, the bus company, they just made it worse. But th that's not what this video is all about. This video is about how... It's about how school buses are built to be unsafe and cheap. You need to put more priority into students' transportation. School buses haven't changed since the 1950s. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They still have the split sash windows that should be replaced with sealed windows, along with an emergency exit that's openable. I do agree with the back door. I do agree with the yellow color, except for the fact that some companies might want to use their own livery, but yellow color is okay. What I don't agree with is the interior and how they designed it that way. There needs to be quality air conditioning. The seats need to be more like the ones on the Metro North and 7s and M8s. They need to be colorful, specific to the company's, bus company's, bus operator's per preference. They need to still have seat belts. I agree on that. And 
school buses, their their seats need to be further apart. They need to give comfort for kids because some high schoolers ride those buses too. All of what's wrong with those cheese buses. And the operators often let carbon monoxide into school buses. School buses like, hey look, a cheese bus. Only costs $100,000 to buy when they shouldn't be making the buses that cheap. They should, they should make them at full, full price. Mm -hmm. Stupid cheese bus. Mm -hmm. At least the school buses do a good job climbing up hills, like this one that's about to come up. This one I'm about to dodge because it's just way too steep. It has a 60 degree angle, which impresses me how a school bus can climb up that hill, especially a full size one. But school buses, their design needs to, their current design needs to go and they need a new design. Also, linoleum floors and fluorescent lights, making it look more like a trainer, a subway trainer, a transit bus would be nice. And having destination signs post the addresses of the stops and have interior destination signs too. What about all that? That's gonna be it for now.